guys! I know it's been a long time, but I have a really cool thing to show you guys. So a little bit of backstory about this thing that I'm making a video about. It is called a wish pearl or a love pearl. Uh, my sister and I just got back from a vacation in Florida. We were in Orlando and also like the Clearwater, um, Tarpon Springs area. But while we were in Orlando, we went to downtown Disney with my nieces. And while we were there, I saw a little like Harvest Your Own Pearl kiosk. Um, we were at downtown Disney on my birthday. And I really just ended up talking myself out of stopping and making a pearl necklace. But I thought about it and thought about it for a long time, and I decided to order it for myself for my birthday, um, just because, you know, I like myself a little bit. So, this is my birthday present. I thought it was a really cool idea, and I want to share it with you guys. So, get ready, because I'm about to harvest some pearls. Alright, so this particular box is called a Love Pearl. Um, I got a slightly more expensive one because I wanted a sterling silver necklace. I didn't want just a cheap plated one that wouldn't stand the test of time. Um, the oyster, or the pearl is in this oyster here, which is in a can. I actually ordered a separate oyster just because I thought if I had two, then my chances of getting a colored pearl were a little bit higher. So here goes nothing. We're about to open some oysters. Alright, so here's the oyster that came with the little love pearl kit and this is the extra one that I ordered. The extra one is significantly smaller than the one that comes in the kit so I'm sure the pearl will be a little bit smaller as well. Um, but yeah we're getting ready to open the oyster and on the bottom of the oyster it had this little insert or I guess sticker there that tells you what each color of pearl is for. So white is for health, cream is for happiness, peach is for love, lavender for wisdom, and gold is for wealth. Um, so yeah, I mean, really, any of those colors I feel like will be good. I'm not super picky. I was wishing for a lavender one before, um, but, you know, a pearl is a pearl as far as I'm concerned. So let's get started. Alright, I cracked open the can. I'm not going to lie, I was expecting to smell like something super gross and fishy, but I think it's packed in, like, alcohol, because that's really what I'm smelling. So it's not terribly bad. Alright, so here is my cracked open oyster, and I'm pretty sure I see the pearl right there. Yep, that's a hard piece. Oh, oh, do I have two? No. Yeah, I think that's the only one in there. So I know I read, read online that some of them contain more than one, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this beauty out here. And there it is. It's more kind of egg-shaped. It's not a perfect circle. Um, probably means that it's like a surgically started seed pearl or something like that, but I think it's kind of cute. Alright, let's open the little oyster now. So here is the smaller oyster open. I actually don't see the, sh uh, the pearl yet, so I'm going to have to do some investigating with my little tool here. So, be right back. And here is the pearl that was in the smaller oyster. So I definitely have two different colors. I'm colorblind so I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here but I feel like I have a cream and maybe a pink or a white and a cream. I don't even know but I'm really excited about this now to put it in the necklace. So here is the finished pearl in the necklace and on. I have to say, I'm kind of a fan. I chose the more pink of the two pearls just because I thought it looked prettier. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. More than likely, I'm probably going to order another necklace and give it to my niece. But I feel like this was a really cool gift to myself. And that is all. Thanks for coming on the Wish Pearl Adventure! It was really fun.